How often do you eat fruits? A month? Every day. Every day? Yes. Dear Toastmasters and most welcome guests, tonight I'm going to share with you how much I love eating fruits and what it has brought to me. We all know the concept of eating five different vegetables or fruits every day because it is widely propagated nowadays. But my obsessed love for fruits has a longer history than that. First of all, I, by nature, love fruit. For example, every time when I wake up from siesta, I would naturally go seek for fruit. That is to say, if I'm lucky enough to find fruits to eat, then it is easy and quick for me to become clear-headed again. In other words, it's not. It is fairly possible that I will feel upset about myself for quite a while. Let me give you another example. Oftentimes when I finish a meal, I feel empty, thinking that there's still something missing. Then guess what is missing? Fruits. Yeah, fruits. Then I would open up a pomelo, for example, and share with my family. But what really happens is that it usually ends up with me eating the most of the fruit. Well, I have to admit that this kind of love for food is quite insane and more like a mental or a spiritual need. Well, that's who I am and that's the way it is. Besides the irrational love, there's a reason why I have kept eating an apple a day for more than three years. We're all familiar with the saying, an apple a day keeps doctors away, yeah. My, mo in my initial motivation for eating an apple every day is quite the same as the saying. That is, I wanted my skin to be beautiful. I didn't want to be suggested to see a dermatologist anymore. And I was also stirred by my father because he used to make fun of my red face in order to prevent me from touching my pimples. As a result, I searched the internet for solutions to my face. There were several methods popped up, but the only one I can remember and have put into practice was eating apples. It is true that the effect of eating an apple a day is positive because many of my friends and teachers were amazed at the change of my skin. And they even asked if what I had done to my face. My answer was concise. An apple a day. Because of my large consumption of fruits, the supply of fruits in my house seldom meets the need. Therefore, I, since I was little, I had acquired the ability to serve myself with almost every kind of fruit. As I started to ride automobiles, I learned how to buy and pick fruits. Thus, I become more and more familiar with the seasonal fruits and the price of them. What's more, every time when I'm in a new environment like foreign countries, I would actively acquire the basic knowledge of that area and go try the local fruits, even if Taiwan has that kind of fruit. Because for me, it is a great fun to find how different soil and cultivation methods can shape the same kind of fruit. At first, it sounds great that my mother doesn't have to worry about fruits stored in the refrigerator for too long. But the excessive intake of fruit does no good to my body. For instance, if I eat too much fruit, eczema would appear on my hands and feet. If I take certain kinds of fruit during my menstrual period, it would make me feel extremely uncomfortable and painful. 
So now I have to strike a balance between my will for fruit and my body's ability to undertake it. To sum up, my love for fruit has cultivated an independent characteristic in me. Now I don't have to worry about where and how I can find fruit when I leave home for a new city. Also, now I have desirable skin that can make me happy when look when I look into the mirror. So my love for fruit is going to be stronger and so is the control of the intake quantity. Thanks for your attention.